We're looking at unit six today, which is rational expressions and equations. And we're looking at 6.1 in particular, which is just rational expressions. And that's on pages 310 to 321 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is to expand and demonstrate understanding of rational expressions and equations up to and including degree two numerators and denominators, including equivalent forms of expression, operations on expressions, and solving equations that can be simplified to linear or quadratic equations. And our lesson objectives today, number one, to be able to determine a non-permissible value for a rational expression, and number two, to be able to simplify a rational expression. So a rational expression is an algebraic fraction that has polynomials in the numerator and denominator, and a rational expression can have non-permissible values. And non-permissible values are values for your variable that will make the denominator in the expression equal zero. And we know that we cannot divide by zero, and that's why these are non-permissible values. So here's our example. It says find the non-permissible values for the following rational expressions. 4a over 3bc. Well, we're looking for values that we could put in for b and c, or c in fact, and we would get a zero in the denominator, and that would just be zero. So b cannot equal zero, because if it did, the bottom would be zero, and that's not allowed. And c can't equal zero. Our second example, x minus one over x plus two and x minus three. Well, we know that the value here, we know that x plus two cannot equal zero. And that means that x cannot equal negative two. So we can just create a little equation and solve that. I guess it's an in equation. Um, then we have x minus three cannot equal zero. So that means x cannot equal three. So there's our two non-permissible values. And finally, two y squared over y squared minus four. Right off the bat, the bottom isn't um, simplified yet or factored, so we're gonna do that and that'll make it easier for us to determine what the two non-permissible values are. So hopefully you recognize y squared minus four as a difference of squares. So we get y minus two and y plus two, and that means y cannot equal two or negative two. So simplifying rational expressions. When you're simplifying rational expressions, you'll need to factor both the numerator and denominator to see if any factors cancel out. So simplifying rational expressions is just like simplifying fractions. You're looking for factors that can cancel out. And you have to remember that opposite factors cancel out to give you a negative one. That's like saying negative two divided by two is negative one. Those are two opposites. So if you had something like x minus three over three minus x, those two things are opposites and they cancel out to give you a negative one as well. So here's our example. It says simplify the following expressions. Be sure to state your non-permissible values before you cancel factors out. And that's when you always state your non-permissible values. It's before you start canceling things out. So 2y squared plus y minus 10. Well, we need to factor that. And the only way that we can factor that is by using decomp. So we're looking for two things that multiply together to give you negative 20 and add together to give you positive one. And that would be positive 5y and negative 4y. Now we take out a greatest common factor from the first two, which is just y, and we're left with 2y plus 5. And then from the second two, it'll be a negative two, and we're left with two y plus five. So we can simplify this now. We know the top two factors. One of them is gonna be two y plus five. We don't need that second y in there. And the other one is gonna be y minus two. And that's just using decomposition, which we talked about a couple of units ago. And on the bottom, we can just use inspection to help us factor. Um, two, uh, two things that multiply negative 10, but add to positive three, that'll be y plus five and y minus two. So we need to state our non-permissible values. So these are the values that y cannot equal and y in this case can't equal negative five and it can't equal positive two. But now we can cancel some factors out, just the y minus twos and we're left with two y plus five all over y plus five, and that is our simplified version of this uh, rational expression. So you need to be able to factor, you need to be able to cancel factors out, and remember to state your non-permissible values before you start canceling things out. Our second example, six minus two m, and m squared minus nine. I can take a greatest common factor out of the top, that would just be a two, and I'm left with three minus m. From the bottom, I can factor that thing as a difference of squares, m minus three and m plus three. So I need to state my non-permissible values. So in this case, m cannot equal three or negative three. And then when we start canceling things out, we need to take into account um, opposite expressions. So three minus m and m minus three are opposites. They have the same 
two terms but with opposite signs on both the uh, both the terms so here the 3 is positive there it's negative here the m is positive and there it's negative so when you cancel those two things out you're left with a negative 1 so negative 1 times 2 is just negative 2 all over m plus 3 so our final example says use the following rational expression to help answer the following questions so we have 16x squared minus 9y squared all over 8x minus 6y. So part A says state an expression for the non-permissible value. Well, we know that the non-permissible value is the factor in the bottom. So we have 8x minus 6y. And we know that can't equal 0. So we get 8x cannot equal 6y. So we actually have two different non-permissible values. In one case, we can get the non-permissible value for x. So x cannot equal 6 over 8y, which is 3 quarters y. So x cannot equal 3 quarters y. And in the other case, we could solve for y. So we could say that y can't equal 8 sixths times x, which is y cannot equal 4 thirds x. So because there's two variables in the denominator, we could have two different non-permissible values. Now, part b says, uh, what is the non-permissible value for y if x equals 3? Well, that just means we're going to solve this non-permissible value little equation. So if y cannot equal 4 thirds times x, and we're saying that x is equal to 3, that means that y cannot equal 4 thirds times 3. That just means y cannot equal 4. And our final part, c, evaluate the expression for 1.5 equaling x and y equaling 2.8. Well, your best bet is to see if you could factor this thing first. And if you can factor this thing and you can cancel some stuff off, then it'll be easier for you to substitute these numbers in. So in the top, we have a difference of squares, 3x minus, sorry, 4x minus 3y, and 4x plus 3y. And in the denominator, we can just take out a 2, and we're left with 4x minus 3y. So now you can see some factors canceling out. 4x minus 3y's cancel out, and we're left with 4x plus 3y, all divided by 2. And that's going to be easier for us to substitute x and y in because we only have to do it to the top and not the bottom. So you're going to want to simplify this if you have to do any sort of substitutions. It just makes your life a little bit easier. So we have 4 times 1.5 plus 3 times 2.8 all divided by 2. And when we do that, we get a final answer of 7.2. So in summary, a rational expression is an algebraic fraction that has polynomials in the numerator and denominator. A non-permissible value are values for your variable that will make the denominator in your expression equal zero, and that's not allowed. When you're simplifying rational expressions, you need to factor both your numerator and the denominator to see if any factors cancel out. And opposite factors cancel out to give you negative one, so something like 2m minus uh, five and five minus 2m would simplify to give you a negative one because these are two opposite factors. So your assignment is on pages 317 to 321. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.